Hi everyone, my name is Walid and I'm the co-founder of Mr. and Mrs. Vintage Typewriters. In this video, I will be showing you how to use a Brother Portable Typewriter. This video applies to all portable Brother Typewriters that were made in the 70s and 80s, plus a list of typewriters that we will be sharing with you in the description below. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button to get notified of any videos that we will be uploading in the future. Now I will be starting with the demonstration. To start using your Brother Deluxe typewriter, you need to unlock the carriage. To unlock the carriage, you use a lever on the right side under the carriage and push it away. The second step you need to do to unlock your carriage is raising the line spacing lever on the left. It's the long arm that needs to be lifted so you can use it later on while line spacing. Now your carriage is free. To move your carriage you need to use the carriage release lever on the right side by simply pushing it toward you and you will be freeing your carriage. To move the carriage from left to right you simply push it in this direction but to move it backwards you need to support it with your left hand and press the carriage release lever and it will move to the left. Now we need to set up the margins using the margin stops. The right margin stop and the left margin stop. To set up your margin you press it down and move it left or right depending on your preference. The next lever is the line selection lever. It's on the top far left side of the carriage. It starts with an R. You can free your platen using the R option. To select one line space, you put it on one. There's two other options, one and a half and two line spaces. Usually we use the one line spacing. On the back there is a paper support arm. To raise it you press on the button and it will raise to support your paper. To insert the paper you need to use the paper release lever on the top right side of the carriage. First you need to ungrip it by pushing it away. You get the suitable paper. Insert the paper inside the typewriter. Then, using the lever again, grip it. Using the knobs, left or right, feed the paper. Raise the holder, put the paper underneath. And now, the paper is in. To adjust the paper, again, ungrip the paper release lever. Align it. Then, grip it back. It's tight now and you are ready to type. Now I'm gonna show you how to use your line spacing lever. We type one line. To move to the next line you hold the line spacing lever and push the carriage all the way and it will feed a new line. Again, as you can see here, there's two lines. We can do it using the line spacing lever. Like many typewriters, the Brother Deluxe typewriters have paper alignment guides on the left and right. These are used to check your typing that it is aligned. And as well, you can use them to draw lines horizontally and vertically. To draw a horizontal line, you place your pencil in the notch. Use the carriage release lever on the right by holding it and moving the carriage left and right. And this will help you draw this horizontal line. To draw a vertical line, you need to use the line selection lever, push it to the R 
to free your platen then again put the pencil in the notch and using the knobs left or right you feed it up or down this will draw the line you want to remove the paper we need to ungrip the uh, paper release lever remove the paper and then grip it back. kindly note that the operating instructions and manual for the brother portable typewriters is available on our website for free you can download it as a PDF file and use it anytime. The website is Mr. and Mrs. Vintage Typewriters.com. Next, we move to the ribbon reverse mechanism. To show you the ribbon reverse mechanism, I need to remove the lid. The levers near the ribbon spools are two pinned levers on left and right. To move it from one side to another to reverse the ribbon, you simply push it to the left. To reverse the mechanism, push it to the right. And if you have eyelets, metal eyelets, on your ribbons, it will be automatically reversed while typing when it reaches the end of the spool. Now we move to the keyboard section. There's a lever on the far left side, it's the tension control lever and on the right side there is the color selector lever. To use your tension control lever you can move it up or down to set touch control to light or heavy to suit your own striking power. On the right side you can use the color selector usually we put it on the black to use the first color selection red for the second color selection and the stencils where the vibrator is not going to be moving for stencil usage. On the keyboard there's the backspace key you can use to correct your typing and there's the tabulation key usually it's in red on the brother typewriters it's a preset tabulator stoppers on the back so when you press it moves to the next stopper. Now we move to the margin release key on the left side of the keyboard. We usually use it to pass the margin on the right side or left side. So while you are typing and you still need to type a couple of extra letters, you press the margin release and you can continue past your margin. Same applies to the left side margin. To move beyond the left side margin you press on the margin release and you can pass your left side margin. Another usage for the margin release key is used to release jammed type bars. So while you are typing, assuming two of the keys get stuck, instead of touching the type bars with your finger and returning them, you can press on the margin release and it will be back. Brother typewriters have two shift keys, one on the left, one on the right. We use the shift key to shift the carriage and be able to type capital letters. On the far left side, there's a small blank key above the shift key. You press it to lock the carriage on the capital letters and you can continuously type using capital letters while this is locked. To unlock the shift lock, you simply press on the left shift key and it will be back to normal typing. And now you finish typing and you need to lock the carriage again. You move the carriage using the carriage release lever to the left side. The lock on the right side, you push it towards you. And then using your left hand, you push the carriage to the right and the carriage is now aligned. On the left side the line spacing lever needs to be softly pushed down. And now your typewriter can be placed back in its carrying case. Thank you for watching the video and hope you liked it. Please let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or queries. 
Until the next video, keep typing. <laughs>